What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fig Heel YouTube channel and today we're going to be unboxing Powertown Luthez. Stay tuned. sisters we got another one today yesterday we unboxed Vern Gagne from Powertown series one figure number one and today we are gonna be unboxing Luthez figure number two from Powertown now first thing I want to say is I was super impressed with this Vern Gagne uh, it exceeded my expectations way beyond anything that I could have imagined in my head um, Maybe that's, maybe that's part of it. Maybe I didn't set super duper high expectations that it gave them room to completely exceed them. But I'm leaning more towards, these are just great figures. Uh, to me, personally, I think I might like these more than the Legends line. And I'll tell you why. Each figure comes with its own unique belt. Not like a... Um, a belt that that we've re we've seen a hundred times right like the intercontinental title we've seen that a hundred times with figures um this comes with very very unique things like the police gazette built with uh Vern Gagne so we're gonna rip in to Mr. Luthez right here uh as you can see like I said on the um Vern Gagne one let me grab my knife on the Vern Gagne one uh they got so many pictures of the figure on the packaging, and that's one of my main gripes. And I even said this to them before these came out. This was one of my things. I, you know, let's let's see. Like I think it's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven pictures of the figure on the packaging, and then you have the the actual figure right there. So you're seeing the figure eight times just by looking at this package. Um, this is supposed to be like a history lesson. So my thing was, let's put a really nice picture on the cover. And I think that right there would have fit perfectly right here. So maybe in the future, they'll be doing that. I love the opening book style for these figures. I know for the major pod ones, this part, the open part with the two magnets is going away, uh, but I do think this is really cool. Now, Luthez comes with the World Heavyweight Wrestling Championship belt. Um, it's super duper tiny, and I looked up pictures. It's pretty accurate. Like, there's a picture of him. Um, I forget who who he's with. He's next to somebody, and um, this belt is super tiny. It's almost comical. It's like a like a belt to hold up your pants. But there are the pictures on the inside. There's him with the belt on it. It actually looks way bigger there than it does in the picture that I found online. Maybe I'll put it in here if I remember. Um, so it looks like he comes with the same towel that Vern came with, uh, same interchangeable fist hand that Vern came with. Um, but we're gonna rip into this and we're gonna talk about the figure itself. Um, the one thing I found with Vern was that it was a little bit difficult to get the jacket on after getting it off but not super difficult it's much softer i would say than a mattel um rubberized good which is all which i can't actually say because like the what was it ronda rousey was super thin right there's a couple that they've been making super thin but then there's other ones that are kind of still stiff it's weird i guess they're in a transition phase so the top bubble is coming off and the thing about the top bubble is it's not only taped, but there's like little clips inside the bubble to keep it fastened there. So we'll take off, we'll take out his um, towel, and take the little fist out. And the one thing I said in the other video, if you didn't watch, is that I like that the fist doesn't have the peg in it. It's the actual wrist is the peg, which I think is a great way to go for interchangeable hands no no fighting or fussing to get this figure out of the uh 
of the bubble, which is good. Oh, wow. This is all right. First thoughts. I love that the belt part of his um, robe is like detached and it's very, very soft. Kind of see how it hangs like a real robe belt would. Same on this side. It's got the three tones on it. So like that, that grayish, it's almost looks like worn leather, kind of like the other one, which I love. I think it's, it's a great look. Um, LT Luthez right there on the uh, lapel. The black piped in white, black around the wrist. Very, very nicely done. Um, where's the box? Looking at his picture here, I would say these are, a, it's a really good uh, likeness. Very, very well done. Looks just like Lou. Now, the reason I wanted to do these two first is because I've never seen a Luthez match. That's me admitting I know who Luthez is, mostly because I'm a big Stone Cold Steve Austin fan. He would do the Luthez uh, press and punches. But um, Vern, I said I didn't see a Vern match, but I think I may have seen archive footage from AWA tapes that my dad had as a kid um, that he would like record and stuff. But other than that, like, I don't have a huge attachment to these guys, but I love the history of wrestling, right? Um, that said, I think these are great figures. I really freaking do. And that's where I was going with that. But let me take this jacket off. I heard this one is tough to get off. And I'm already experiencing it. So hard that I'm wondering if I'm gonna be able to get it back on. All right, so the back of the figure has a little bit of like staining from the um, jacket. But the one thing I'm noticing here that I really, really like is the body hair. As weird as that may sound. So he's got chest hair and it's great designed. Very, very well designed chest hair. He's got forearm hair, which we've seen before on a wrestling figure. But one thing that I don't remember ever seeing on a wrestling figure, and that is leg hair. Look at that. Most wrestling figures are bick down from the dick down. That's what I say. And this one looks very, very authentic and real. Looks like I'm holding a mini Luthez. Um, so here's the title. Now, as I was saying, this title in real life is super, super small. If you want to go and Google pictures of it, it's tiny. Like very, very tiny, thin. I... I, I I mean, I, I don't even know what to say, but it's like nothing compared to today's belts, but that's the evolution of everything, right? Things get bigger and better. Uh, but so small in real life that the detail isn't really there on this belt because honestly, I don't think they could pull it off. Think about the original AEW women's title. It was so hard to read the font on it. And that was like double the size of this. So I can see all the detail that they went for the crown at the top, the ring in the middle. Considering how small this is, I would say it's a fair amount of detail. I really, truly would. So let's put this on him and see how it looks around his waist. Honestly, I think it's a great scale likeness to what I saw online. It's about, it's about right. It might even be a little bit too big, slightly bigger than the actual belt was on him. Um, now he looks cool with the towel on. I'm gonna try my best to get his robe on but I'm very impressed with these figures. Like be, way beyond what I was expecting. I didn't think they were gonna suck at all. Um, just from talking to Steve, I knew that he knew what he was doing and I knew that he was gonna provide a great product, but I, 
don't think I was ready for the extent that he was going to do it. Now, I know Steve's not the one going and designing these things, but Steve is an industry professional and Steve Rosenthal. And I knew that he was just going to hire the people that it takes to get this product to look the way it needs to look. And he has, you know, connections and insight on factories and I mean listen he came he came through for pretty much everything he said that when he was made fun of for so kudos to my man Steve so now this one looks great here he is Luthez in his entrance robe with the towel on with the belt on beautifully done the sculpting in the hair is incredible even got the part there you can even see like the baby hairs kind of hanging down and one thing I, I another thing I want to say is that in pictures I was seeing people take pictures of their open figures I was ready I was already prepared I was like oh man these things the faces the skin something about them they look like translucent in a sense. Um, they don't look like they match the bodies. In person, they freaking match the bodies. Sometimes pictures and lighting captures things differently than what they actually are in hand. And that's why I usually don't um, judge renders, prototypes and stuff like that, studio shots, because I wanna see it in hand. Nothing looks better on a screen than it does in hand. Um, but man, these are, these are great absolutely great so i want to show you like so here's the articulation of the foot kind of can almost rotate all the way around i don't want to test the integrity of it but it's very very flexible and movable so yeah another one down power town series one luthez figure two the luthez press and punches my man very impressive. He just looks like a, a 1950s Italian guy. You know, an Italian guy. There he is. Wow. And I'm saying wow about a guy in black trunks. We're saying wow about two guys in black trunks, black boots with white laces. Of the set, these are, I would say, are the most basic two. And they are freaking incredible. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even dare Mattel, AEW Jazzwares to try and remake these. Not that they would, just saying, that's how good these figures are. Wow. I'm looking at them. And I'm trying to decide which one I like better. They're very, very comparable because they, they both have the towel, entrance gear, similar um, gear. I think I would have to say I like Luthez better because he's got the long robe, right? Three tone. The texture on the robes and the jackets are incredible. But I think there's a lot more detail in his face than there is a Vern Gagne. So I think I got to go with Luthez on this. However, I do love... The Police Gazette belt on Vern. I think that's just a... Uh, that might be my favorite belt in the whole set. So, hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Fig Heel. Pick up the Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist. Go to ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. Make sure you keep an eye on Power Town. I don't know if these Series 1 figures are ever going to go back up, but if they do, you're going to want to grab them because they are through the roof right now in the secondary market. And I know for a fact the major pod ones are coming soon with a pre-order. And we have the All-Stars, the Remco All-Stars, which is Remco AWA style figures, and an announcement for Series 2 coming. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you join Whatnot at WhatHeal.com and you will get $15 off your first purchase. And we will see you tomorrow where we're going to be unboxing Mr. Magnum TA, Terry Allen. Take it easy, guys. Peace.
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. Join my official sponsor, Whatnot, at WhatHeel.com and receive $15 off your first purchase.